And welcome back to another installment of the Healthcare Business Network. I'm Ron Nyman here for another episode this week. And our discussion this week is going to center around a fascinating topic. This regards the impact of the new health care reform law, otherwise known as Obamacare, its impact on the private insurance industry. And today we have a fantastic guest, a wonderful expert in this area. His name is Mickey Herbert. And just to give you a little background on Mr. Herbert, he just recently retired as both the president and CEO of Connecticut, which is a $1 billion health plan in Connecticut and Western Massachusetts. And he also had recently retired as the executive vice president of Connecticut's parent company, Emblem Health, which is a $10 billion company located out of New York City. When uh, Mr. Herbert was president uh, or CEO of Connecticut, the company was ranked as the number one for-profit healthcare plan in America by U.S. News and World Report. Prior to joining Connecticut in 2005, Mr. Herbert was the founder and CEO for 22 years of Physicians Health Services, otherwise known to some folks as PHS, which is a health plan serving Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey under his leadership. PHS began a, as a nonprofit health plan, converted to for-profit status, and had a successful initial public offering in 1993, and operated thereafter as a publicly traded health plan until it was sold to HealthNet in 1998, at which time it had 34,000 participating physicians, and it served over 550,000 members in the tri-state area that would cover Connecticut, New York, New Jersey. Mr. Herbert is an eminent figure in national HMO affairs. He's the past chair of both the uh, American Association of Health Plans and the former American Managed Care and Review Association. And since 2006, he has served as a director of America's Health Insurance Plans. For the past two years, he's also served as a member of their Key Executive Strategies Task Force. Before founding PHS, um, Mr. Herbert was vice president of Interstudy, which is a national health policy research firm. And a very interesting thing that uh, Mr. Herbert participated in oversaw for eight seasons. He was the president, CEO, majority owner, and founder of the Bridgeport Bluefish Baseball Club, which is an independent minor league baseball team located in Bridgeport, Connecticut. They're actually part of the Atlantic League. So he had the opportunity to uh, be involved in baseball. He was one of uh, the three officers of the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball, and he's also a general partner of the Philadelphia Barrage, which is a charter team of Major League Lacrosse. And under Mr. Herbert's uh, stewardship, both the Bluefish and the Barrage won league championships. He also has extensive experience as a board member of both public and private corporations, besides holding board positions on the health plans he ran. He also served uh, for the past eight years as a board member of Patient Care, which is a national health care advocacy uh, firm. And he served for several years on the board of Eurocore, which is a publicly traded urological laboratory, which was later sold to Dianon Systems. He was also a director for several years of UST Bank in Connecticut and served on the boards of the U.S. Men's Care Corporation and Healthy Pet Corporation. In addition to all the numerous things that uh, uh, Mickey Herbert has done in the business world, he's also uh, committed a tremendous amount of time uh, to both uh, nonprofit organizations throughout Connecticut, through the Connecticut Business and Industry Association, the Metro Hartford Alliance, the Barnum Museum, the Barnum Festival, and the School for Ethical Education. He's also a past chairman of the uh, former Greater Bridgeport um, uh, Area Foundation and has co-chaired with his wife, Jackie, an annual campaign of the United Way. He's also served as chairman of the United Way's board of directors and has been a an officer on the boards of both Junior Achievement and the YMCA. And this is only a small part of so many of the things that uh, Mickey Herbert has done. He's given 35 years of his life uh, to the area of healthcare, he's been a real trooper and and um, uh, advocate in this area, and has just extensive experience not only 
in our own healthcare system in the United States, but he's visited and studied systems, healthcare systems in France, the Netherlands, New Zealand, South Africa, and Mexico. I know a few people who have had the kind of experience he's had. So, Mickey, I want to welcome you to the Healthcare Business Network. It is a real honor to have you on this week. It's a pleasure to be here, and sorry about the long introduction. No, it's. I really wanted to let our audience out there know the, the person that I'm speaking with this week so they know your background and understand it, because we're really going to be speaking on a weighty topic, which is the healthcare reform, which is Obamacare, and the impact on the private insurance uh, carrier industry here in the United States, 